when is a transformation one to one and when is it on to? Let's investigate this question with a linear transformation like this. T of V equals A times V. And remember that any linear transformation can be written this way. That was a theorem from earlier in this section. One to one and on to are unrelated concepts. So we'll take them one at a time. A transformation is on to if T of V equals B always has a solution. And because T of V is a linear transformation, it can be written like this. It's on to if A V equals B, this matrix equation always has a solution. And we've already stated a theorem answering the question of when this matrix equation always has a solution. T is on to if and only if every row of A contains a pivot position. Now we'll address the question of when a linear transformation of this form is one to one. So a transformation is one to one. If T of V equaling T of W implies that V equals W. So recasting this statement, in terms of what we've said T is. It's a linear transformation of this form. A V equals A W implies that V equals W. When is this true? 
Well, let's suppose that AV equals AW. Let's give this vector a name. Let's call it B. V and W are solutions to the matrix equation AX equals B. Um, and this is one to one if this matrix equation only has one solution. So there being solutions makes them the same vector. Well, what are the options here? This matrix equation has one solution, in which case this transformation is one to one or it has infinitely many solutions, in which case it isn't. Let's remind ourselves what we need to have exactly one solution. We need to have no free variables. So T is one to one if there are no free variables. And that's the same as saying that every column of A contains a pivot position. So in both these cases, one to one and on to, we're looking at the pivot positions of A to be one to one, every column needs a pivot position. To be on to, every row needs a pivot position.